Like many in western Pennsylvania, Stephanie Halowitz watched her once pristine neighborhood become an industrial site. As evidenced by this video she shot near her home. You can't live like this. It's so stressful every single day. Today, she believes three natural gas drilling operations bordering her property turned her well water like black, bluish. forcing her to purchase this tank of fresh water every month. The air uncertain. I'm very afraid health wise for the kids just because of the exposure to the water and the constant not knowing what we're breathing in outside. The Hallowich home sits near the center of the Marcellus Shale an energy-rich geological formation stretching from New York to Tennessee. In Pennsylvania, 60 gas companies hold more than 4,500 permits to drill, almost half granted this year alone. The development of shale gas uh, in the Marcellus and across the country is a very important part of the nation's energy strategy. What's driving the drilling rush here and across the country are advances in hydraulic fracturing, or hydrofracking, a process whereby millions of gallons of water, sand, and chemicals are blasted deep underground, forcing cracks in the shale, freeing natural gas for collection. It is at the surface where problems have been reported, like blowouts and spills into groundwater. And as shown in the HBO documentary Gasland, ignition at Whoa. the kitchen sink. Jesus. No water for gas! at public meetings. Clean energy should not put lives in danger. Environmental groups. And pro-drilling landowners who receive royalties. It is my house, it is my land, it is my property, and I deserve to be able to frack if that's what I want to do. Have squared off over potential health risks and safety. There is no such thing as zero impact drilling, even when things go well. John Hanger is head of Pennsylvania's Department of Environmental Protection. Oil price Since 2008, he's doubled the number of state regulators and inspectors to oversee the gas industry. Have you found evidence of chemical contaminants in the, in the water? Spills at the surface or leaks at the surface have, in fact, contaminated people's drinking water. Yet nationwide, the industry is not required to disclose what potentially toxic chemicals, like hydrochloric acid, are used in the drilling process. It clarifies federal A 2005 bill proposed by the Bush administration stripped the EPA's ability to regulate fracking, leaving it in the hands of individual states. I think the industry is way out of bounds for not disclosing the list of chemicals. I think the industry is close to insane to have allowed that issue to become a, a source of suspicion. <gasps> Watch out. Much like the quality of air and water now surrounding thousands of home sites like this one. Armin Katayan, CBS News, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania.